Hey guys, welcome back to Oak Abode, continuing in our seed shopping series. Today we're going to shop for some peppers. I'm going to say right off the bat, so many of these look so fun. And like I've said before, I'm really trying to keep it kind of low key this year. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to get. And then I'm going to show you what I was, what I would get if I was more fun and if I was taking on more than I am. So Okay, so the first thing that I know I'm looking for is going to be a bell pepper. I really like bell peppers with a nice thick skin. So let's see sweet bell peppers. Let's see if we can find something good here. I am absolutely obsessed with this Islander light lavender skin. It's so beautiful. I feel like I've tried to grow this before and it didn't do all that well, but I'm going to go ahead and add it to my cart because I'm not ready to give up on it yet. Oh no, <laughs> the tomatoes I added to my cart are gone. Rats. Oh, that's probably because I wasn't logged in. Okay. Well, I'll just do one big shopping trip later. Okay, so this one says it has nice thick walls and fruity flavor. Gourmet, that's sounding pretty good, but I'm going to keep looking. This one, Intruder, uh, ooh, well adapted to the Northeast Midwest. That's another good contender. King Arthur, early production of thick walled. Ugh, it's also tempting. Honestly, I don't usually go for early varieties, but I think I'm going to add this one as a contender because it's early and thick walled. So that I'm hoping that because it's early, it's a little bit better in cooler weather, which is kind of what we have. Tunnels don't want anything that needs a tunnel. Oof, these are gorgeous too. Lilo. I really like the ivory colored bell peppers, but I grew one a few years ago and it was just so thin that it was hardly even worth growing so I'll probably skip that this one says it's broad disease resistance pro craft but I think I'm probably gonna skip that because I don't usually have trouble with disease with my peppers hmm okay so it looks like we got those purple peppers and the red and the green early and thick and I'm actually really happy with that the only thing I don't have is an orange or a yellow and I think what I'm gonna do for that is I'm going to get a different kind of pepper. So as beautiful as that is, I think I'm going to, and I think I can just harvest the red peppers earlier when they're orange or yellow to get that color. Is that incorrect thinking? Let me know in the comments. All right. So now I'm going to go to sweet peppers. Let's see if we can find something orange or yellow in here. That's a little bit of a different shape. Banana peppers. Those would be really good for pickling. Shishito peppers, adorable. This one, the best sweet peppers for the home garden. It's kind of hard to argue with that one. Ooh, what's this on sale? Escamillo, delicious yellow Italian frying pepper. Mmm. Okay, but Round of Hungry, another one of those ones I've always wanted to grow, but since I always add so many other ones to my cart, I have never gotten to it. Has anybody grown this one out there? How has it worked for you and how has it tasted? I'm really curious because they are beautiful. Okay, so I think I like the Escamillo, the idea of that one. It's organic. I like that. It's either that one or the Cornitos. Hmm. Oh, or the banana pepper. You know what? Sweet, thick, walled banana pepper for pickling or fresh eating. It's hard to beat that. Let's get the banana pepper. Okay, so we've got yellow, red, green, and purple. Oopsies. I'm already way overboard on peppers. Whoa, that's not good. It's okay. All right. Let's see what we can get for hot peppers now. Okay, spicy shishito. That's funny because, oh, shishimai. I always thought shishitos were spicy, so obviously they're not. And apparently that's a spicy variety. I really love that shape. I also love poblano peppers when other people cook them for me. Whenever I grow them, I don't actually really cook with them. So I'm going to skip that this year. Obviously, these cayenne peppers are gorgeous really great for drying too and I also love the ones that have all these little peppers all over them hmm they always look like Christmas lights oh okay duh jalapeno what am I thinking I need a jalapeno I don't know I, I think I'm probably gonna get it from Johnny Seeds just because I'm making a big order but jalapeno peppers are one of those ones that also sometimes I'll just wait until 
they're available in the stores because they're so much cheaper if you get them in the store. And I don't know, in my experience, jalapeno is kind of a jalapeno. They always do really well and kind of taste the same to me. But if you know of a really good jalapeno variety, please let us know in the comments because maybe I'm missing out. Definitely don't need habaneros as much as my husband would love for me to grow them. And serranos are a little spicy for me. Okay, so these are all sold out. There's a good chance they'll be restocked by January. Let's see, it might tell us here. Yeah, they're just out of stock. Hmm. Those are really, really pretty though. Gosh, there's so many things I'd love to grow, but I'm so determined to just become disciplined with a, a smaller scale first and then scale up. Love these Mad Hatters too. I have no idea how I would cook with them though. Hmm. Open pollinated jalapeno with more skin checking. Don't know what that is. Can anybody leave a comment with what skin checking is? Okay, here, how about this one? El Jefe, best combination of earliness and yield in a jalapeno. Hard to beat that. Let's get that one for jalapenos. And do I deserve a red pepper that I'm probably never gonna use? <laughs> Let's find one. Let's see a hot pepper lantern. Let's see. Those are so cute. Oh, it's a habanero. I didn't know that. Okay, how about this one? Mojo. Or uh, maybe I should just get a regular cayenne so that we can dry it and make our own spices. Quick drying for ristras. I'm guessing that's what I'm picturing. And they're on sale. Okay, organic cayenne pepper seed. Thick walled attractive fruits. Flavors sweet and hot, matures early, produces high yields. Done. Oh, you guys, I've already got way more peppers than I should have. <laughs> Maybe we'll narrow down later. If anything, I might get rid of these ones because realistically, I probably am not going to actually dry them and use them as much as one should. Okay, so now I have hot peppers, sweet bell peppers, and sweet peppers. Let's see if there's anything I'm missing. Let's go to just the whole, whole kind of shebang page here. I guess if I had to get rid of one, I could probably get rid of this one because it's probably not going to be all that different than the other bell peppers except for color. Mm, I would love to get this one sometime. Has anyone grown flavor burst before? Vibrant golden yellow, medium large bell with excellent sweet flavor. That's something that I want to do more in the future is to get plants based more on the flavor and less so much on I guess being early or having thick walls or um, like size I think the grocery stores have really convinced us that food should just be big and fast but really there's so much to be said for flavor so uh, I think it'd be cool to branch out a little bit in the future and start trying some varieties that aren't so fast and maybe aren't so abundant but offer really nuanced flavors flaming flare that's really pretty widely adapted thin walled fresno hmm i wonder what a fresno pepper is oh, i have so much to learn cherry pepper seed this also looks really interesting hot cherry for stuffing pickling and processing i definitely want to get better about pickling this year and i know with the cherry tomatoes it's really nice to just pick them off the pick them off the plant, kind of pop them in your mouth or throw them in a salad. So I think the easier something is to consume, the more likely we generally are to actually consume it and make use of it. So that's probably something I'll consider in the future. Again, I love all these pretty shapes and colors, just probably not the year for it for me. We're not much of a hot pepper eating family. So I, I just wanted to get those red peppers to try drying them and saving some of our spices. But I'm sure so many of these are really, really good. I would love to put them on pizza. I wonder how this round of hungry does. Oh, it's out of stock anyways. I wonder how it does with pickling. Let's see if it says anything about that. Great for stuffed peppers and cooking in salad. So I don't know how it holds up with pickling, which is kind of a bummer because it's an organic cherry pepper seed. So it might be one of those ones that's just really easy to pick off and save, but I guess not. Not for this year, maybe experiment with it in the future. So this year when I'm buying peppers, I'm trying really hard to think of what I buy in the grocery store. And I think maybe once a year I'll buy like serrano peppers, but jalapenos are pretty frequent. Um, cayenne peppers can use them in just about any recipe to make it more spicy. So that makes sense to me. 
And then those sweet bell peppers. So let's look at what we got. All right, let's view the cart here. We've got this beautiful purple bell pepper seed, Islander. I love it. Uh, the King Arthur is supposed to be thick and early for a bell pepper. So hopefully that will be kind of our workhorse. I'll probably plant as many of these as possible. I'm not sure how many packets, let's see, or how many seeds are in a packet. 25 seeds. That might be something. Hmm. I usually plant two per seed tray. So that might get me about 12 plants, which should be enough. And if I need to, I can split them off instead of thinning out. So I think that'll be good. I don't need more than one packet. We have this beautiful banana pepper seed that hopefully I will do some pickling with and we can enjoy that even in the winter. A wonderful... <laughs> I'm not trying to sell these to you guys. Again, this is not sponsored, but it just looks fun. A jalapeno pepper seed, jalapeno, and a cayenne pepper seed. This is kind of the, I guess, the wild card. So I wanted to stick to three or four. I guess if I have to, I could cut out that purple one, but we'll see how much of everything else I have when uh, we go through the rest of the plants. So I think that does it for peppers today. Please leave a comment if you're familiar with any of the peppers that we looked at, whether they are good or bad. Super curious which ones you guys like to grow. We got some really good interesting comments on the tomato video. Sounds like the Amish paste is a winner, which is good news, and uh, the black creme, which I kind of totally randomly picked out and hoped it would work out. A lot of you guys said that you liked it. So it's really good to hear feedback. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.